What's up? Another episode of Eli slash Jacko Baby TV. I am your host, Jacko Baby. And um, what we talking about? <laughs> Yo, I'm your host, Jackal. What we talking about? <sighs> talking about changing the brakes on the 2013 um, Dodge Charger with the Hemi. Check it out. So, what I got here is, okay, I got the, got the tire off, tires over there, and over here I got the caliper. Uh, got the caliper right there. It's not that hard to... That's not hard to get off at all. It's just basically two screws that go in the caliper. Right? And so those screws go right here, right here, in there. And then at the bottom there's one right there. They go inside there. Okay? And the caliper goes onto that and these right here are your brake pads right and I have a lot of wear still left on those brake pads see the brake pad right there see that line in there how deep that gas is in there Slot, yeah. I mean, I got a lot of brake pad left on that. So, and then you got one on the other side. Right there, see that? Those over there. And so, now to get to get this rotor off, I have to first take this part off, right? If I was just changing the brakes, I just put new pads right there and on the other side, and I put the caliper back on to that. Boom. Tighten those screws in there, in and there, and I'm done. Right? But since I gotta take the rotor off and change the rotor, I gotta take these screws off. So let me see here. Okay, it's so a screw right here. See that screw right there? It's a bigger screw. It's another one right here. See those? So that one goes down here. And I gotta take this one out. Right here. And then I'll be able to take this thing off. Okay. So I'll put the Let's put the screws in the same spot. So the right tools are essential, people. The right tool for the job is a must. Because you can spend all day with the wrong tools. Okay. Now that comes right off. See that? It's basically the bracket. That down right there. Now, let's see here. Should 
come off. So now I gotta see how to take this part off. Cause it's warped a little bit. And uh you know it vibrates when you um applying the brakes. Get back to you. I can't do this with one hand. Please. So I had to get the um, the rotor right here off. By put some towels on it like that. All right. I took a mallet. All right. And I hit on the back of the back of it on the tiles. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Mostly for the noise, to cut out the noise, but also so, you know, let's say if it wouldn't come off, I had to take it in or something, so I wouldn't damage the rotor. And then it should lose. Boom, boom slide right off like that. See that? So that's out with the O. All right. See that that lip right there? See it's a lip right there. You you can your nail catch on that. That's bad. And it's in with the note. Now these are different as you can see. They slot it and they drill to slot it. The drill so it won't get all that heat build up. And the slots, you know, it keeps the breeze flowing out by there. And it's also so the brake pads won't warp. The slots keep the brakes honest. All right, and that, uh, yeah, can't get that on with one hand, so let me do this like, like this. Dip, 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 dip. Uh, let me see. Okay. Trying to make sure I get it set up right. All right. All right, there we go. Uh, so that is going to go right on there. Like that. Ooh, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Boom. So that's going to go like that. Feel me? And now to keep that like that, and then this part, the bracket. Yeah, you remember the bracket. So the bracket goes Blinking out there. I don't know why that shit does that. The fuck, man. Uh, 
Okay. Boom. There we go, there we go. The bracket go like that. And I gotta go get some Dub D40. Man's best friend right there, baby. Oh, it's funny, it looked like my screen's upside down. Okay, there we go. Anyway. Um, so I gotta spray some WD-40 on the screws. Let's go in easily. So use my knee to hold it in there, in place, while I try to get this right. Okay, I got one in. So that's as a guide before I even tighten it up. Try to get the other one in there. Boom. Now I got both of them in. See, it's loose now, right? So I get both, I got both of them in. I can tighten them up by hand. Got the top and tighten. Got the bottom one tight. Well, by hand it is, right? So boom. There they go. Hey baby. I can shorten the handle right there. See the handle log, I can shorten that. Top one's tight. 
one of ones next. Bottom was tight. So that's tight, right? The rotor's still gonna be look, you know, wobbly and loose until you put the brake pads up in that joint. Break pass. Got two sets of front, two sets of backs. Brake pads, that is. So, brand new, fresh in the wrapper, brake pads. So, just break quiet, right? Spray that on the brake pads. problems. And oh, so just so you see, 
it has this right here, this little tip right here. I'm gonna break. See that? A little tip right there. That's so um you know this will scrape on the rotor to let you know your brakes being worn down. So when you hear when you hear that when you hit the brakes, just so you know that's um that's a good thing because it's just saying you know you need you need to um get new brakes. That's all that means. You know, it don't mean nothing more than that. So don't get worried about that when you hear that. And so basically this thing is not liking that I got the um that, that little thing's on that, that that this little thing is on there. And you so you could take that off there too, right? Take that off there too. Take that off there too. See, I just broke it off. Yeah. So I got one on the bottom, and that'll work just fine. Cause this little spring in here didn't <clears throat> wasn't comfortable with me having two of them on there. So the one on the bottom will work just fine by itself. There we go. Boom. There we go. There we go. See that set session? So look, so net that 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 bar. So net that that bar. So net. See, so that's on there, on both sides, right? So now we got the caliper. And there's going to be a problem with the caliper. First of me, WD-40 to these screws. Caliper, I'm sure it's gonna happen. See, there's a spot in here. Let's see if you can get close up on that. Okay, see that? Like, right here, these two things right here sticking out. Yeah, see, those things, they need to go in. So I unloosened the brake reservoir, right? I'm losing the brake reservoir. Took the top off, I mean, you know, a little cap on the brake reservoir. And um because I gotta push these back. So that do like that. Like this piece right here, this is a good piece to have. Right? Sits up in there like that. Pretty much. And screw it. And it's gonna push this brake pad that I put in there. I just just to use the extra brake pad and put it in there. So I can push back on both those things, right? And because that's the hydraulic pump. I mean the hydraulic 
break. Um, Those are your hydraulic um, brake yeah, that's where your hydraulic brakes that so the hydraulics when you push on the brakes it sends the brake fluid down and that pushes those two hydraulic um, things that I was showing you pushes it onto the brakes which makes your brakes squeeze against the rotor and that's how you stop so it was adjusted to the wear of the other brake pads that were on it so now since these are new they have more or less wear on them so the, it's, it's the, the meat is thicker on the brake the brake is thicker since it's new so now I gotta push those hydraulic um, tubes backwards and that's why I took the top off of the brake reservoir in the under the hood so that um, it can go back okay and it's the old old brake pad that I used to do that with and now you can see it's pushed back these these two things right here are pushed back <sighs> hopefully it's enough so that it'll be able to fit on onto here like so let's see go there we go got something here boom see and that once I put the screws in there that will give me the stiffness that I need so the top screw I put back in the one I showed you earlier trying to get that to line up with the with the bracket that I showed you Since this is all a tight squeeze, you know, it's never as easy as it needs to be, right? But we got it, we got it. So now I can use this. <clears throat> Don't you love electric tools, baby? Don't you love electric tools? There we go. Now 
And so, you see this is still a little wobbly, right? Now keep in mind, that's because, remember I pushed those things back? So it's a little wobbly because they're all the way back and there's a little wiggle room in there. So if I go in the car right now and I step on the brakes, it's going to push those things out and that's going to tighten up against the brake, um, the rotors right here. And um, then once I put the rim, the rim on the wheel, that's going to tighten up against the rotor and then that's going to lock the rotor back in place. And um, there you have it. So you do all four sides just like that. And there you go, baby. What? So, it's Eli slash Jacko Baby TV. I am your host, Jacko Baby. And um, that's how you change the calipers and the rotors and the brake pads in the 2013. Dodge Charger with the Hemi RT. What we talking about? Man, we just talked about it. <laughs> Peace. The goal is total control, wolf pack remains prominent Beware the wolf's lair With human bones and hairly everywhere in despair You sip and run in your lips We strip yourself confidence to dominance The goal is total control, wolf pack remains prominent